This is like deja vu, isn't it? We're gonna <laughs> pull this rock back. I'm gonna, I'll try to string some of it out. We're basically gonna, I need to get across this creek today. Dad's here uh, with his truck and trailer. I tore some fence up. I have some mulching over here. I don't think I got any video of it. Uh, it was raining and I was trying to mulch along this fence around this lagoon. And there was one more tree I was gonna hit. It's like right up against the fence and I was kind of leaning sideways. So I was having to swing it a little harder, kind of overcompensate with the weight of the head. And it kind of swung over, mulched that tree, but then when it did, it kind of pulled it down and over and just nicked the chain link fence. And I pulled down about a hundred and some odd feet of it and wadded up, wadded up about 30 feet in the mulching head. So I got that kind of cleaned up. We cut out all the, the fence or whatever. And then, uh, how he went and bought a 50 foot roll, a 10 foot tall chain link fence right now. So we can stand a lot of it back up because it just kind of pulled all the clips over and laid it over. But uh, we're gonna hook on to the, with the new piece to the end of it. I kind of moved what was, what I had to cut out and the piece that was good. I brought it down and hooked on to the other piece. And then he's got like a pipe he made with some hooks so I can reach over the fence with this hold it up so we can get up on ladders and reclip it then we'll get down there to the end and then put the new section of chain link in and then put it back up so i think i said i think it was raining i just finished filming some of doing that uh mulch until i got down there and then i'm trying to think it was this whole week has been a little uh aggravating it's saturday or whatever but uh i think i had a fitting or something that was leaking on that mulching head on the machine. And I came back up here uh, to my truck to get the tools. And then I was gonna try to go get another wrench. My truck wouldn't start. I don't, I think the, uh, oh, the neutral safety switch or something's giving me fits. Cause you can kind of mess with the shifter and jiggle it around, put it in neutral and it'll start. Well, I could never get it to start. It started raining again. <laughs> I wasn't in the best mood and then I yanked this fence down around this thing so I didn't uh I didn't get a lot of footage of all that so kind of the same way I was talking in that one driveway video it's or somebody there's two or three people I think made the same comment the uh how do they say it the the hurrier I go the further behind I get which is very true so it was I was trying to push and get more done and it seemed like hey, everything was kind of working against me that day so not a great day for mulching but now i got like this 18 inch high speed bump for him to get his pickup across here so i'm going to try to rake some of this rock back over there and dress it back up i don't have my grading bucket with me or i, I would have it i uh it's sitting on the trailer behind the peterbilt I drove my Jeep this morning. Is it? I left this bucket down here uh, in the mulcher just in case I had to take the mulcher off to move stuff with the teeth, the uh, thumb, and everything lined up better than the grading bucket. So I didn't really plan on having to uh, re rock, which this one will work. It's just I'd use the grading bucket to slick it up a little bit more. But, and I'm just kind of using the bucket. Uh, to pull everything back and kind of keep pulling it toward it. I get a lot of comments like, well, I don't use the blade all the time for some of this stuff, which I can. I mean, it'd be like kind of like a dozer. But the problem is with just pushing with the blade, it'll only push so much and you're gonna keep pushing out too, or this way I can kind of contain it with the bucket. And basically just kind of uh, keep the material more where I want it and then when I get it, where it's not as thick, I'll kind of blade it off a little bit there. We put five or six loads on uh, part of this drive, and I'm pretty sure there's not five loads right here. I bet half of it's on down the creek. And now it's got all this creek rock mixed in with it, so we'll just kind of use what we can. Top coat these boulders behind me, and uh, probably come back next week and re 
rock some of it again. So here's my little oopsie back down there where dad's at was the last tree and I was sitting on the side of that hill and I swung over and caught it. Well, you can kind of see that post is a little bit curved. <laughs> That's the one I hit and it sucked the fence up in there but then I just pulled this section over so he's got a pipe built. We're going to try to reach over the fence and hook onto the top of it and stand a few sections of this up first and then we'll uh, go down there and add on the new piece and then put all the ties back on. I guess I'll have to go help him. He's trying to, there's a wire in the very bottom of it. We're trying to tighten back up, but yeah, this was kind of my uh, <laughs> mess from the other day.
pulled my fences back up, so I was glad Dad came out here to help me. But this thing fought us the whole way, so if I never have to put another 10 foot tall chain link fence up again, it'll be too soon. I did learn a valuable lesson. I'm never going to get the uh, mulch or anywhere close to a fence again because uh, this was kind of a pain. And I'm sure I didn't maybe go about this the right I don't know. I've never put up a 10 foot tall chain link fence. I've done four and six, but uh, Tends a little more of a pain, especially when you're on the side of that hill with all these tree stobs and junk sticking up, but we got it up there. <laughs> and he does have like a fence puller or stretcher, so we were able to kind of put it on the excavator bucket and tighten that up on the end. So, yeah, it came out uh, looking pretty good. Looks like I tore up about, I don't know, 25 feet or something like that, 30 feet maybe. But yeah, at least it's all back up and done. So, uh, yeah. I'm beat now. We'll track our way back up, park this thing. Uh, hopefully you guys have a good weekend, and we'll probably be back here uh, Monday. We may start hauling some rock, or at least I, I think he's got another job he's going to work on uh, putting in a new fence. So I may be back down here Monday trying to haul some rock and put that road back together just because uh, across the street is going to be too wet, I'm sure, on Monday because the river's still up, and... Uh, yeah, I'm sure it's still going to be a little bit muddy, even though it's supposed to be like 90, but we'll catch you guys Monday.